What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Ray, your friendly neighborhood beardsman. And today, you guys, today we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day gift card. You heard it, I said it. A Valentine's Day gift card. Gift, ugh, gift card, you guys. So if you guys are into that, make sure to tune in. Uh, and if your other significant other is gonna get it for you, go ahead and send it to them. But without further ado, let's get that intro rolling. So before we even get started, you guys, like always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you on board. We do beard tips, anything beard related, EDC, uh, anything men related, we do it here in this channel. And if you have any suggestions for me or for the channel, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below or follow me on Instagram at official raised beardo and you can send me a message there as well. So for today's, today being Monday, tomorrow you guys are going to see this video, but since it's Monday, um, I guess we can call it Mail Call Monday. So what, we're what, re what we received in the mail today was absolutely amazing. If you guys aren't familiar with Club Grunt Style, they are a veteran owned business that sells shirts hoodies anything apparel related they sell it uh, military they can either they can either be military related it's mainly military related which is pretty cool they have really cool stuff on their shirts as a matter of fact let's go ahead and use one they sent me right now so this is the shirt it says send it instead of an eye it has a kind of like a rocket launcher you can see all the like little rockets there you have, they have their logo on the side, and since it is a veteran-owned business, they do have the flag on the other side. What I love about their subscription uh, t-shirts is that they're very comfortable. I am a big fella, if you've noticed. If you haven't, you need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> I am a pretty big fella, so these shirts do feel very comfortable from the chest, stomach area, and not only that, but they feel very nice on the arms. They feel very, very nice, very uh, fitted, super, super nice. I love these shirts. Um, I think they're probably one of the best shirts that I own. And if you guys are interested, I will be leaving their link on the description below so that you guys can get your subscription started. If I'm not mistaken, your first month is a dollar. And anything after that, I believe it's 25, which is really nothing for a shirt. Uh, these are really, really nice. They're veteran owned. You'd be helping a veteran owned business and they have amazing, amazing sayings. Like I said, I will be leaving their website on the description below so you can get your subscription started today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. For our Valentine's gift card today, I went ahead and did my five my five items that you can get your significant other uh, for Valentine's Day that they will appreciate. Now, mind you, this is for either people who are into tactical stuff, mainly for men. I don't want to say completely for men because there are some women out there that do love this kind of stuff, but this is more leaning towards the tactical, manly, whatever you want to call it. Um, so please do not get triggered for anything <laughs> that I say in this video. Um, like I said, it is meant more for tactical people, uh, people that love, you know, EDC stuff and stuff like that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, start with number five, a pen. You can never, never, ever go wrong with a pen. A pen is very nice and essential nowadays. If you have seen my past videos, you'll know, uh, especially because of COVID, you want to share the least amount of things possible with other people and having your own pen helps you whenever you have to give your 
you know, your autograph or whenever you have to write down notes, jog down notes or whatever you want to call it, a pen is very, very essential. Um, now, I am a minimalist, so I love these, these uh, nice bullet looking pens. This one, I got it in at, what do you call it? H-E-B. It's not the best pen out there, but it does do the job and it's amazing. It's just, you know, very, very minimal. I love that little logo right there. I love the blue and it does come with a stylus as well. So super, super nice, super minimal. And it is a, you know, kind of like a rolling, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, but you know, you roll it, you, you spin it, whatever, and it does open there as well. And you close it. So super nice, super minimal, and it helps so that you don't spread or get, you know, the COVID, COVID, whatever, COVID-19, whatever, uh, and you can stay safe and keep your stuff to yourself other than sharing it and risking getting contaminated. Moving on to number four, flashlight. So a flashlight, believe it or not, is very, very convenient. Once you start using a flashlight, using your phone light is, is really useless because one, you don't use a battery from your phone. Two, uh, it's much more easier to just pop out of your pocket and, you know, press a button very, very easy. And it's, it's very useful. I use it mainly, you know, when I go outside, when I'm looking through things in the dark, um, especially under the, the seats or under the TV stands or whatever, under the bed, it's very, very useful. And you don't have to get anything too expensive. The most expensive ones that, that are out there are about like at a hundred, but you don't know, you don't really need anything over 50 lumens. I mean, if you do work at a place where you do work at a pitch black, bleh, pitch black place where you can't see anything, 45 isn't enough, then yeah, go ahead and go with an Olight or with something with 1,300 lumens around that range. But usually 50 lumens is good enough for anybody. And these, this one actually as well, I, I actually purchased this one at HEB and this one's the police security brand it's not bad it's very very nice two dollars this thing costs two dollars and it's gonna be super super useful and it's just very nice you know you can you can feel the the material that it's it's very very nice material i haven't read the specifications to know what type of metal this is but i feel it and it's nice and it only runs on a triple a battery so whenever that runs out just get just one triple a battery pop it back in there and it's good for another couple of months. You really don't use it a lot. It's, you know, only whenever you're gonna go into dark places. I know a lot of people say, oh, this battery runs up to 24 hours, up to three hours, up to, but in reality, how long are you gonna have your flashlight on? If anything, you're just gonna go a couple seconds. Oh, found it, get it, let's go back. You know, so really, this is really nice. It's good enough. There are longer ones, shorter ones, but this one to me was just perfect. 50 lumens, don't need much more than that. Coming in at number three, we have a pry bar tool. Now, for men, a pry bar tool is very, very useful. We pry things all the time. Let it be a nail, let it be a bottle cap, whatever the, the case may be. These even come, some of them, Not, I don't wanna say all of them, but some of them come with bottle openers. They're super, super nice and very, very useful. I love these things. I use it all the time to pry open anything. Anything that you can pry open, you name it, I pry it. So a pry bar, very, very useful. And if you're asking yourselves, well, Ray, where can I get these things? I'll go ahead and leave a list on the description below of where you can get all of these things for a very, very good price. Coming in in number two is a handkerchief. A handkerchief is very essential for people with glasses, watches, or really anything in general. I know a lot of people use glasses, whether it be reading glasses, seeing glasses, or even sunglasses. 
you always use some type of glasses and it's good to have a handkerchief ready so when they're dirty just clean them up put them back on and you can just put this and what's nice about these is that these are mini hanks right um these are small enough to where you can just place it in your pocket and it's not gonna be you know a little bulge or whatever it's very nice very convenient these were made by mighty hanks amazing amazing company this one is a topographic one super super nice and i carry it everywhere i go i used to not carry a hanky but yes i did say hanky that was silly of me <laughs> Anyways, I know some of my friends are going to... I'm not going to hear the end of that. I'm not. Anyways, so these you can also wipe your your watches as well. And what I've heard other people do with them as well is that nowadays cars come with a lot of screens. And they do get dirty. And a handkerchief is real nice to just clean it out, make it more visible. You can use it to clean out the mirrors as well. You can use it to clean out most things except, please, I'm asking this from the bottom of my heart. Don't use it to clean your nose, people. That is disgusting. You, you need a napkin for that. Go to the restroom, blow your nose with a napkin, but don't blow your, nail, your nails, your nose with the handkerchief, please. These weren't made to blow noses. These come with a microfiber cloth that you just used to clean most surfaces except your damn nose. So don't clean your nose with this. <laughs> do whatever you want. It's your handkerchief. You can buy it, do it, throw it, sell it, whatever you want to do. You do you do you. You do you. And at the end of the day, as long as it makes you happy, then no one can take that away from you. Last but not least, a word from our sponsor. Just kidding. Um, we do have our sponsor. Uh, unfortunately, right now I don't have any other products with me, which I feel so stupid and embarrassed, but they are Aztec Beard Company, which you can also, if your significant other has a beard, can be either a guy or a girl, if they have a beard, and they feel itchiness, they feel dryness, they feel, you know, that their beard is too rough, head over to Aztec Beard Co. They have amazing, amazing beard products that help their beards or your beards or everybody's beards grow to its fullest potential. They have amazing, amazing carrier blends that help the beard feel much more softer, the skin much more hydrated and less itchier and they have amazing amazing scents so go ahead head over to their website they are having having a valentine's day special so head over that's another amazing gift that you can get for your significant other for this valentine's day cultivating beards hell yeah anyways back to our last but not least a knife you can never go wrong with a knife and you don't have to shop for anything expensive Civivi knives have the best best quality at the best best price so this is a Civivi knife I will be doing a full full uh, review video on this knife soon God willing um, this is a dude D2 <laughs> D2 steel with G10 scales super lightweight and it runs on ball bearings if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what makes this knife so soft. So, so soft. Super nice. Fidget factor is very high, so your significant other will love fidgeting with it and playing with it because I play with it all the time. So make sure to head over to... Actually... You can purchase a CVV knife really anywhere. Uh, Blade Ops, Blade HQ, Knife Center. I'll go ahead and leave the links in the comment section below. Uh, what I do recommend is getting it at Blade Ops. Uh, nothing against Blade HQ or Knife Center. They have amazing products uh, at the amazing price that they do have them for. But Blade Ops does offer a four 
interest-free payment plan. So if you don't have enough to purchase the knife then and there, you can go ahead and um, opt in for the in for interest-free payment plan and you can give it in for easy payments. So that's so cool. This one usually runs about $50, $50, $60 around there. So you'd be paying like around 11 to 13 bucks a month, a month, every two weeks, which is nothing at the end. Super, super nice. And your significant other will appreciate it a lot. Super, super nice. I love this. I love this knife so much. Um, I carry it a lot. I have no complaints so far from this knife. So yeah, you guys, that was my five, my top five, top, can, you, can you even call it a top five? I guess you can. My top five Valentine, Valentine's Day gift guide for your significant other for this Valentine's Day. Now, before I even let you go, men, men that have girlfriends that are barely going out, um, if you want to know what to get to your girlfriend or your significant other, go ahead and get them a box of chocolates, a bear, uh, some roses, something nice. Go ahead and get them something nice for Valentine's Day. Write, write them a poem, sing them a song, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do that. But if you're a man, men out there that are married, married men out there, if you want to do something for your significant other this valentine's day go ahead wake up early make them breakfast clean the house clean the dishes um treat your woman like a princess that day which shouldn't be just that day it should be every single day of your damn life but i know that sometimes we work hard we aren't much at home um and stuff like that but go ahead and help them out around the house make them feel appreciated that day they will I guarantee this they will feel so appreciated that day and and like I said don't just do it that day go ahead and do it multiple occasions don't don't just be romantic once one one day out of the year that's that's meaningless but be romantic throughout the year as well at least once a week it doesn't hurt it makes them feel very very much appreciated so and if you don't have money for roses or anything like that hey any little detail counts write them a poem write them a note go to the dollar tree go get them some chocolates go get them a, a gift card uh not a gift card i'm sorry um like a valentine's day card write them something significant go to your nearest church get some roses <laughs> Take some flowers from the damn bushes and go give them to her. Go to your to your neighbor's lawn. Take some flowers from his from his bushes and give them to your wife. Uh, anything, anything that you do for your significant other matters. So any little detail counts. Make sure you you make them feel special that day and not just only that day, but you know for the rest of the year as well. That was my video for today. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you don't, well, what can I do? I really can't do anything, <laughs> but try to be better. Uh, anyways, thank you so much. Remember you guys, stay safe, stay COVID safe, social distancing, all that matters. Um, at the end of the day, your health matters. So stay safe, stay humble, and overall you guys, stay bearded. May God bless every single one of you. Till next time.